Hi, in this video, I'll sculpt two different baskets just to show you repeaters. Add torus primitive, make thinner with radiuses, and give oval shape with gizmo. After choosing radial from repeaters, let's give value 25 to radial Y. First expand with square. Turn to top position. Again, move the square inward and create that middle shape. Turn to front position. Drag the brown ring down. Clone torus, move down and flatten with gizmo. After shaping, move under the vase. Now let's make the handle of the vase. Add sphere primitive for this. Validate and subdivide. Select repeater's curve by pressing the plus icon. Press count and give the value 20. Now place the circle ring on the vase by directing the radiuses. Let's make the circles a little smaller and count 30. We made the handle for our vase, but the abundance of these rings can slow down the program. Let's save it first and subdivide the vase. Select to torus, give 300 resolution value to the torus and remesh them. Select radial and validate as joined children. Turn off the view of handle. Add sphere, validate and subdivide and minimize with gizmo and put on the vase, then select radial, give value to radial Y32. Open the view of handle. Let's minimize the size like the sphere handle and select radial, give radial Y45. We have made a ceramic vase to create it in your mind what we can do with radial. Now let's make a wicker basket. Before starting the basket, Let's turn off everything's view and just stay this 45 radial gold ring. Add tube under one sphere and thinner with radius. Let's select matte cap and shading menu. Choose matte cap and turn off the painting to work easier. Select radial for tube and give value 45 to radial Y. Shorten the tube length a little and add torus. Tap to solo thinner the torus. Since we added the torus below the radial, it became 45 torus. Drag inward with the blue radius of the gizmo. Drag the square outward. Turn to front view. Drag the blue circle down. Straighten the lines with the gray circle. Give it a vase shape and shrink the shape by dragging the red circle inward. Expand it with the square and tap to solo to open the view of other parts. Move to the top position and drag the square out. Move it up in the front position and make it horizontal with the blue circle. Let's turn it upside down and move it a little more inwards than clone the torus and make four pieces. Line up three of them and move one to the bottom. First drag outwards with the blue radius, turn to top and drag it inwards. Clone this fourth base and cover the base with these. First drag the red ring out. Drag gray circle out. Drag the gray circle in, the blue triangle out, and the green circle out, respectively. Front, back, blue, red, it was a bit complicated, but making a handmade straw bag should be harder than that. Let's go inward by cloning a few of the last ones we did. Let's separate the last cloned from the radial and give the new radial the value 20. We made the base of the basket. Now, we have too many torus cloned, we need to combine them. For this, let's select the torus under the radial, give value 300 for 100 and combine them by remesh. Let's do the same with the torus below the other radial and join. Open shading menu and select PBR mode. If you want you can use the gold circle ring or I'll make a different top. Let's make. Turn off the view of gold circle ring. Select Tube Tool and make horizontal tube. Thinner the tube with amber circle. Validate tube and select radial from repeaters. Give value 40. Move to top position. Select one tube and move the middle of tubes with drag tool. Move inside. Turn the basket, select tube and move down with gizmo. Drag left with gray ring. Drag with red ring. Drag it between the long tubes with square of the gizmo. 
what we need to do now is bend the ends of the upper tubes and combine them with the lower tubes as seen with decreasing the radius. We made radial Y40, since the bottom tube is 45. Select radial and make the number 45 so that they merge easier. Now we can easily drag the ends into it and complete the top of our basket. If you wish, you can watch my lighting video for lighting. I'll come to the end of my video. If you want to learn more, please check out my other videos.